click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to this video this video is from chapter number 1 introduction to microwaves various aspects related to microwave and further its engineering we are having in this chapter so microwave frequency band designations we have been introduced to into very first topic various microwave devices based on to the vacuum tube and then semiconductor platform have also been introduced along with their principle of operation so to understand the principles of operation we have gone through the electron motion that we have formulated for the motion into the electric field magnetic field in electromagnetic field we have solved one problem based on to it also so for microwave propagation we have been deriving the microwave equations its propagation its reflection that we have seen into the earlier topics so in this topic let us begin to see how the microwave can have the propagation into the free space and then lossless dielectric in terms of few of the characteristic parameters so generally whenever the microwave is generated in the free space it is transmitted with the help of transmitting antenna so we can have a simple scenario of transmitting system on to the left hand side and receiving system on to the right hand side so let us draw it so here we have the transmitting antenna i take the help of a drawing of very directional antenna here so let us say this is transmitting antenna and here if you take another antenna to receive the signal so it is the transmitting side and this is the receiving side so whenever the microwave is generated by the system associated on to this transmitting side then it is further transmitted with the help of this antenna it is divided into three types of waves the first wave is the direct wave we say that is going as a line of sight communication from the tip of transmitting antenna to that of the receiving antenna another is having a path through the ionosphere ionosphere is one of the atmospheric layer at approximately 50 kilometers from the earth surface so from the ionosphere it will be having a reflection back to the earth surface and finally it will be captured by the receiving antenna and another view the third type it is the surface view so it will be flowing on to this particular surface so the three components that is the one reflected from the ionosphere one is the direct wave and one is the surface wave or a ground wave you can say so that way the propagation of microwave into the free space will be there now for this particular subject our motive our objectives here are actually to have the designing of the microwave system the understanding and further analysis so here we focus the propagation on to the free space with the help of knowledge of some parameters like the attenuation constant phase shift constant the intrinsic impedance the velocity of propagation and some others so let us focus on to it so in the free space or in the lossless dielectric lossless that means it does not have any kind of attenuation so generally for microwave propagation we have gamma that is the propagation constant so it is given by alpha plus j beta so alpha is accounting the attenuation hence it is called as attenuation constant beta is called as phase shift constant gamma is the propagation constant so for free space or the lossless dielectric alpha is always equal to zero for microwave propagation further if you take intrinsic impedance eta it is actually square root of the ratio of permeability of the medium to that of the permittivity of the medium so here in this case we have to substitute in this square root at the numerator position mu0 
for the free space or lossless dielectric so it does not have any magnetic uh, particular characteristic into consideration hence mu zero 4 pi into 10 to power 7 henry per meter will be the value here so it will be divided by epsilon r into epsilon zero so here we can write eta zero divided by under root of epsilon r or you can simply write 377 divided by square root of epsilon r the unit of measurement you can put to be the ohms here now as the information regarding alpha is known to us the intrinsic impedance that we have seen the beta is the phase shift constant so beta is given as beta is equal to omega square root of here we have mu into epsilon where omega is the angular frequency and further the velocity of propagation can be simply given as 1 upon square root of mu into epsilon so these are the parameters that are simply giving us the information into the objective type with respect to the microwave propagation through the free space and lossless dielectric i hope you understand these important concepts that are very very essential to have first of all before beginning with exactly the microwave devices their working principles and further their microwave components where the microwave propagation we shall be taking into consideration so for more information you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you